boys and girls, my name is Miss Gentry and I'm a first grade teacher at Bricky McLeod Elementary School. I'm so excited to be here with you all today and to talk about the history of two important American holidays. Let's get started. So let's review some of the holidays you probably learned about with your teachers already this year. This year we have learned about Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and President's Day. Today we will learn about Memorial Day and Independence Day. First we're going to talk about Memorial Day. So what is Memorial Day? Memorial Day honors soldiers who died while fighting to protect our country, our freedom, and us. People remember the sacrifice they made for our country. For many, it also marks the start of summer. Now we're going to watch a short video about what it means for them to protect our country, our freedom, and us. Imagine what life would be like now if no one had fought England in the Revolutionary War, or if people in the North hadn't joined the Union Army to fight against the Confederacy. Those wars were won because normal people did their part to defend their country and their freedom. It's a responsibility all citizens share. If no one is willing to fight for our rights and our freedoms, through action and speech, it's possible that someday we could lose them. Of course, not all people are able to serve in the military to defend our nation, and that's okay. But we honor those people who have sacrificed to protect our freedoms, rights, and country with two holidays, Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Until you're an adult, it might seem impossible to serve your country, but that's not true. You can't join up, but you can practice good citizenship at home and at school, and prepare to be a good citizen by being a good student serving others, supporting your community, and respecting other people's rights, you're learning all the things you'll need to help support and defend your rights. So let's talk a little bit about the history of Memorial Day. Memorial Day began in 1866 People wanted to honor the soldiers who had fallen in the Civil War. Memorial Day was originally called Decoration Day, but many years later, they chose to rename it and call it Memorial Day. Memorial Day is always celebrated the last Monday in May. It doesn't always have the same number date on the calendar, but you can always find Memorial Day by looking at a calendar for May and finding the last Monday. This year, Memorial Day falls on May 25th. Since Memorial Day is all about honoring our soldiers, here are some ways we honor them on Memorial Day. People decorate military graves with flags and flowers. Some people attend Memorial Day parades. American flags fly at half staff until noon. And many people take a moment of silence at 3 p.m. to honor the soldiers who have been lost. Now we're going to talk about Independence Day. What is Independence Day? Independence Day celebrates the day America declared its freedom from Great Britain by signing a document called the Declaration of Independence. On this day, Americans celebrate their freedom. Another name for Independence Day is the 4th of July. So now we're going to watch a short video that talks about the Declaration of Independence. In the summer of 1776, the Second Continental Congress put together a committee to write the Declaration of Independence. The 
declaration was to be created for the purpose of telling the King of England that the colonists in the United States wanted to govern themselves. The committee chose Thomas Jefferson to write the Declaration of Independence. Jefferson spent two weeks writing and rewriting. Once he had finished, he took it to the Second Continental Congress for them to read. There were many days of arguments about the Declaration, but after some corrections and additions, the Declaration was ready. The first part of the Declaration explains that men have certain rights that can't be taken away. The second part tells how King George III refused to grant these rights. The Declaration of Independence was read to all of the colonies and almost all of the colonists approved of its words. Congress voted on the Declaration on July 2nd, 1776 at Independence Hall in Philadelphia, and it was officially signed on July 4th, 1776. It was signed by 56 delegates from 13 different states. It is on the 4th of July that we celebrate our country's independence. So now we're going to talk a little bit more about the history of Independence Day. At first, America was owned by Great Britain. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. This document declared that America was a free country and that Great Britain would no longer own it. It also lists the rules of America that they wanted to follow. The Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4, 1776, which is why we always celebrate Independence Day on the 4th of July. So unlike Memorial Day, Independence Day always falls on the same number day each year. It always falls on July 4th. We celebrate Independence Day in many different ways. Most people fly the American flag. Many wear red, white, and blue. They also have picnics and barbecues. Some places have parades, and many people watch fireworks at the end of the day. Now that we have talked about Memorial Day and Independence Day, I have two tasks for you to complete. For task number one, you have four questions to answer. For number one, locate and circle Memorial Day on the calendar. Remember, Memorial Day is always on the last Monday in May. For number two, Answer, how do we honor fallen soldiers on Memorial Day? Number three, locate and circle Independence Day on the calendar. Remember, it's always on the 4th of July. Number four, who wrote the Declaration of Independence? For task number two, you are going to use your knowledge of all the holidays you've learned about this year and you are going to place them in chronological order on the timeline. That means you're going to place them in the order that they happen. Remember, think about the order of the months of the year. What comes first, second, third? That will help you complete task number two. I've had so much fun being here with you all today. Good luck, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!